why hello and welcome everybody so today i wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the righteous fire inquisitor for 3.17 arc nemesis league i do apologize if i uh, stutter a bit in this video i've been up for almost 30 hours so uh we are at right now with our play time one day and 22 hours in we are level 95 on the character we've pretty much explored majority of the end game at the moment um, I have completed 114 out of 117 of my Atlas achievements, and we have taken on the uh, Searing Exarch entirely. Boss fight was totally fine. Before I jump into uh, a little bit more, I wanted to go ahead and really fast run a map for you guys to show you kind of like what Righteous Fire can do with, uh, I would say like, I don't even think I'm 20 Exalt investment, but let's, let's just say 20 Exalt investment. So I'm going to put Exarch on, and I would put Abyss on, but I'm a little bit of a rush, so I just kind of want to zoom through this for you guys. So the only things that I have changed from the original POB that I will explain real fast right now is this node was misallocated over here. It's 20% chance to ignite. You should be using your Fire Multi. Uh, furthermore, I have navigated one point down here to grab the Asylum Cluster. The main reason is because I'm spamming Abyss and I would like high chaos res. So this cluster is not too bad. If you are taking this cluster, do not take the reduced curse effect cluster here on the mastery because you get curse reduction via Asylum. Uh, furthermore, we did a respec where I dropped this section and I also dropped Scorching Ray because I self-rolled a Master of Fire large cluster. I spammed this in Harvest. Uh, and that allowed me to switch. Now remember, when you do get Master of Fire, you want to switch this to Exposure you inflict applies minus 18. Furthermore, um, just before I continue, I am currently running the Legacy of Fury boots that I was talking about in the video I made essentially before I started this character, right? This was pretty much the hype for me. So you're going to get a demonstration with this. Um, and then just to go over the standard links, I've got Ink AoE, this will be replaced with Awakened Ink AoE. Swift Affliction, Righteous Fire, Life Tap. With Life Tap, Control Destruction, Burn Damage, Ellie Focus, Swift Affliction, and Flame Wall. The last thing is I have incorporated a Curse on Hit on my Mobility Skill. So I dropped Flame Dash to run Frost Blink. Just because it feels a bit better because I play very aggressive so I'm jumping into everything. When I Frost Blink in, it also applies Flammability because I'm currently running Life Tap. Frost Blink, Flammability, Text Touch. Uh, and the last thing is, you can also join Global 911, uh, where we have a constant amount of people from my chat helping players out. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, oops. Why did my RF turn off there? That's weird. Also pop in the leak mechanic. I have not been doing too much of this, but just so you guys can get an understanding of the damage. A really common question I get from players is why do you not run Infernal Cry anymore? Or when are you supposed to use Infernal Cry versus Enduring Cry. So before I got my Legacy of Fury boots, I did not have these constant pops that are igniting or well, burning targets for a large amount of damage. So because I didn't have that, I was using Infernal Cry a lot more often. Basically, I would, you know, run into a blue pack if I didn't kill them instantly. I would use Infernal Cry and just kaboom the entire pack. It's also really good for Blight. It's extremely good for Harvest. So it's definitely got its uses. Uh, since I have a lot more damage, though, I have switched to my Enduring Cry setup, which gives me a super recovery if you look at my ES and life. Uh, because I have now switched to Enduring Cry, this is around the time I'd start running Vol Righteous Fire. So I am 95. I haven't even run Vol RF yet. I was trying to buy one, but there's not really any good ones for sale. So I'm probably just going to try to uh, double corrupt my own. Okay, going into the boss... Go. That minus 16 you see up there is the Scorch from the boots.
That's a big guy right there. That's a very thick guy. Who is that? Oh, this is the Kong ground one. Oh, this is the, uh, this was a mistake, actually. I'm not really sure what I just made, but this guy is nuts. Not gonna lie, this is like the tankiest thing I've bought in quite a while. I would... Okay then, well, uh... That guy does not fuck around. Next time, I will definitely read mods. That's actually... We have very few deaths on our character. That's that's death 12. A few of the other deaths were for uh, running content blind. So, I'm gonna leave that guy alone. I'm not really sure what I did to make him so pissed off. We'll, uh, we'll come back and kill him off stream. The guy just straight one-tapped me. That's nuts. I touch the abyss or this one over here? Let's go grab this. I'm actually really spooked at that big Kadava guy. We're gonna leave him alone. And by leave him alone, I mean I want to smack him now because he smacked me. Okay, he goes down. Gosh, that was actually nuts. Other abyss. It's funny, I didn't put abyss on the map and abyss has popped up. I really need to figure out what exactly I did to that guy to make him so insane because the jump from three to four is usually not that crazy for me. Usually they're like still pretty pretty tamed but i guess i haven't haven't jumped too crazy into the league mechanic like i've done i don't know a couple hundred of them That is pretty much how everything runs. Um, remember, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. So, oh, that's a sub off stream. That's weird. So for right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go over my gear so you guys can kind of see it right now. So this is currently my weapon that I've got. It's essentially just a, for the most part, a very high increased damage weapon with a decent amount of dot i just pretty much id'd this with my filter we have a bunch of items highlighting with green text on the weapon i pretty much just spam identified a shit ton of weapons until i got something good uh this was the helmet that we got took us uh, about 450 chaos to get so it was pretty expensive but i was very happy with it i ran about 15 labs did not get any usable enchant so still trying to get something there my shield is quite literally utter garbage. Um, I don't really want to talk about it, and neither should you guys. My amulet is pretty much just as shit as that shield, if not worse. So, a lot of upgrades to go there. Um, this is our chest piece we got with Emperor of 
a purity divination card. Uh, if you'll notice, I actually have damage taken recouped as life and life recovery there, which is pretty nice. This is a very budget, affordable chess piece. It's under 30 chaos. Then you just craft it with an essence. Super nice. Still using our one chaos death's rush, or I guess now it's a couple chaos. My gloves, which are quite bad as well, have not upgraded these yet. Once I get a new pair of gloves, uh, which I've been crafting, uh, I'll work on essentially changing the implicit to get like the fire multi, and I'm not sure what else. Replica Soul Tether was three exalts. Um, I farmed at the beginning of the league. I ran down here and went right into incur not incursion. Um, what is this called? Uh, uh, betrayal. And I farmed Katarina, and I got two two items. I think they were called. Yeah, I got two items, which I sold. Um, so that's pretty much where I got a large bulk of my currency from originally. And other than that, uh, I really like the Legacy of Fury boots. Everything is awesome. I just replaced my Pyre Ring with this ring. I lose a little bit of damage, but it's pretty cool because I gain a lot more effective life. I get 20% fire damage than one minimum frenzy as a suffix. And then the life in ES almost matches the damage of a Pyre. On my tree, uh, after I respect this for my cluster, I bought some jewels for about 50 chaos each. So there was this one. It's just burn damage fire damage over time and life and i'm going to try to harvest prefix reroll to increase the life value and then the exact same thing for these that i bought for the same price this one as well other than that uh that's pretty much about it i'm really enjoying the character there's so much room to scale like i have barely done anything for my defenses really i just have a bit of effective life once i craft my shield like a proper chest piece um, the character is going to be really awesome, so I'm very excited for that. But anyway, that's pretty much my update for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to drop them down below or feel free to head to the live stream and just ask them there. And remember, you always got Global 911 to jump into as well or your Righteous Fire Hotline. Anyway, take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Don't forget, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me uh, streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.